with no bad kiss. The Saturday in Nogaro started with a big, big surprise. He could score the first pole position for the Tank Pool Mercedes team and so for the new Mercedes ever. And the even bigger surprise was he could even win the race. So the first race win for the new Mercedes and a big surprise in the paddock. Place two and three were shared between Adam Lachko leading the championship by six points now in front of the three-time European Championship leader and winner Jochen Hahn on his blue MAN. So these two are really battling for the European Championship, that is very clear now. I know that the strength, uh, the start would be our uh, weak point and uh, we're not so strong um, at the start, but um, fortunately Johan helped me a little bit with a little push so that I can stay um, side by side with Adam and eventually I could come out in front and then uh, in the first couple of laps I could pull a little bit of a gap on the others and, and uh, then I, I was able to manage the tires. So it's really good. I'm, um, I'm actually really happy because uh, I never thought this would be possible. Saturday's second race in Nogaro saw another race winner, René Reinhardt, the businessman from Germany, is now really catching up in the championship and is third now actual and of course will fight for another win tomorrow in the next two races on Sunday. The spectators already had two action-packed races but also they had the chance to see all the drivers and the trucks in a beautiful parade through Nogaro on Friday. They had an autograph session like always in the middle of the paddock on Saturday and they will have another chance to see the drivers driving Harley Davidsons over the racetracks tomorrow. So a lot to experience for all the spectators visiting the truck racing family in Nogaro.